Hi, welcome to Dev Central. My name is Jason Rahm. In, in today's episode of Lightboard Lessons, we're going to talk about eye control. And in the first couple of episodes of Lightboard Lessons this month for Programmability Month, we talked about eye rules and eye rules LX. And those are more uh, appropriate for our data plane as traffic comes through the big IP. Today we're going to actually talk about the control plane. And so if I have a big IP, and I have traffic that comes through the device, so I have a client, and it comes through and it hits a virtual server, and then the big IP processes it and comes through and hits any number of pool members, then when it comes through here, this is what iRules and iRules LX, our new feature that we introduced 12.1, uh, LTM policies. All of these things are handling traffic that goes through the box. But our eye control interface is really meant to handle the ability to change configuration or to pull stats off the box or uh, to uh, you know implement uh, like a, uh, a failover event or, or whatnot. And so we have for our eye control interfaces, we have that for SOAP and REST. And SOAP is kind of the big man on campus, has been around a long, long time, and REST is the new guy uh, on the scene. We've, we've had the REST interface for a couple years now. Uh, the SOAP interface has been around for 15 years, and so uh, from a parity standpoint, the, the SOAP library is far more robust just because it's been around forever. Uh, the REST interface is, is what's getting all the, uh, the active development going forward. SOAP isn't going anywhere, but, but REST is, is the future. And so, you know, all the new feature development and all that is going towards the REST interface. And so, what, what are the differences between SOAP and REST? And so, we have client as far as data traffic going through, but then we also have a client for, uh, for the application interfaces for, uh, or the big IP interfaces for, you know, making changes to big IP. And so uh, if you have a SOAP client, SOAP is actually a protocol and it uses um, SOAP XML is the, uh, the communication device from a, a SOAP client. And then REST client is actually using standard HTTP, and then the data is represented with JSON. And so, whereas with a REST client, you can do uh, things like uh, if uh, um, the REST interface is mostly uh, wrap a wrapper for TMSH, I mean, there's more to it than that, but, but essentially, uh, from a config standpoint, it wraps TMSH. So if you have a, um, you know, you wanna list LTM pool, you do that in TMSH. Uh, from an HTTP standpoint, that's a get in HTTP, and you're going to get against a URL, management TM LTM pool. And so the, the methods that you would use within um, the REST you know, you're going to use get to do what would be essentially a list in uh, TMSH. Uh, post is a create. So post is a create. A put is a modify. And the HTTP delete method is, well, it's a delete. That's a pretty self-explanatory. Um, and so from the REST perspective, the reason it's taking off is because you can do this in a browser. You can do it with curl at the command line. Uh, from a SOAP perspective, um, you know, you have to build that protocol into whatever client you're using. And so, um, I mean, well, you can do it raw. I've done it uh, actually from an iRule to the iControl interface to create and modify iRules uh, just as a fun little project to work on. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's difficult. It's, it's very challenging to do raw SOAP. Uh, on, on the fly, and so you know you have a, so, a SOAP library, and so you need to find uh, SOAP libraries in whatever language uh, that you're using. I use uh, uh, Python, and so the, the SOAP library that I use is 
um, is the SUDS library, and that's wrapped into the big SUDS eye control library. And so the SUDS interface handles all the SOAP stuff. Big SUDS wraps that SOAP requirement and handles all of the, the big IPs um, uh, method, interfaces and methods. Uh, so, you know, we kind of talked about list LTM pool from an eye control SOAP perspective. Um, you know, the uh, web services definition language, they're all defined in, in WSDLs. And, and so you have an interface where you would have local LB is the, in, is the local LB pool is the interface and the method would be, you know, like create pool and then, uh, or it might be, yeah, it might just be create. I, I haven't messed with SUDS, uh, I mean, uh, the, the I control SOAP in a while, but you know, the, the methods within the interface are defined clearly in the documentation that's out on the Dev Central Wiki, as are we, we have eye control rest information documented out there as well. So this is kind of how the, 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 the flow works uh, between the different interfaces. Again, if, if you're a SOAP shop, use the SOAP interface. If you're a REST shop, use the REST interface. We support both, and, uh, and, and it's a, a way that allows you to come in, modify your config. Uh, you can do things like cloud bursting where you have an application in your data center and the, the data or the, the data center is getting overrun. Well, what do I do about that? Uh, traditionally, before things like uh, automation on your network, you would have to have somebody sitting there manually creating all these processes. But with something like this, you can have uh, an environment uh, predefined so that when the local data center is overrun, you can say, hey, I'm getting out of capacity. I'm going to go ahead and spin up some resources, some servers, some databases out in the cloud. And then as soon as they're available, I can add them to the pool. I can redirect that traffic out that way. And you can do all of that through, uh, through either the, the SOAP or the REST interface. And you know, the REST interface really is, is so uh, uh, taking off uh, because it's so simple especially in, uh, in automated and, and uh, orchestrated environments in, in cloud. So um, hopefully this has been helpful introduction to kind of the, the, the way eye control works. And we're, we're having a whole series this week on getting started with eye control, uh, more geared towards the beginners. Uh, but hopefully uh, you seasoned veterans will learn something as well.